How's it going, chicks and mates? This is Mr. De Charles, and we are back with Gone Home. Now, got a bit of bad news. I was recording the third episode, I looked up there and stuff. Unfortunately, my audio broke. So now, well, I've kind of just lost an episode. Basically, I started me with addressing two things. First off, I opened the cupboard episode two. Now, I did that because I thought that in the first episode, the cupboard looks a bit shiny, so I opened it. I hope it's better for you guys. The second thing was, the have my main quote, like, the, what they say about plans, um, all plans go something. Basically, I think the quote is, all plans go awry, which basically means even the best lay plans can go wrong. Alright, so basically those were the things I wanted to address, like, in episode 3, and I did, and I searched around, um, I think the map says it best, there's not really much I found, to be fair. I thought the TV room was actually Sam's room, or my room, it wasn't. It's just a TV room. There was some poetry and stuff, but none of it really interesting. I tried to give a toothbrush to Herbert. I don't know why I did that. In fact, hold on, wait. No, was that the bottom floor? Oh, wait, is it going to count this as the... Wait, how do I look it upstairs then? Oh, it was Sam's room. Oh, okay. I'm being an idiot. Okay, fine. Whatever. So, that was Sam's room. Over there. I'll give, I'll give you a quick tour. So, basically, this was Sam's room. Um... Not much happened. I found that tape. I played it, but I don't want to play it because, you know, it could be copyrighted. Uh, there was a poem down here. I don't know what it is. I think it's like a continuation of that old story we saw. And I think the first mate dies or something. Um, what was in here? Oh, I think that's just an exit. For some reason, there's two exits in this house. So then we move on to the mum and dad's room. Again, there wasn't much here. I mean, shockingly, and I find this kind of stupid, um, they've got two bathrooms, or, you know, they've got an ensuite, and that ensuite has its own ensuite. So that's a bit extreme for me. I mean, I thought this guy was a failed writer, not a bloody, like, finance director, but that's fine. Just want to address that. What else was there? Um, there was a guest room, and there was a bathroom. This is the bathroom, I think. Oh, um, the red paint. There's basically a recording I got. Um, I found it kind of interesting. So it goes like this. Oh, I have to read it. Okay. So Lonnie brought her hair dye over today. She said, I need to fix these roots. Think you could help? Dying hair is weirdly intimate. I don't know if I've ever touched someone else's scalp before. That's pretty intimate, right? I felt intimate. And I thought, what the hell? That's not really intimate. I mean, I've touched people's heads before. I suppose I wouldn't do that naturally, but... I didn't see the intimate side. We looked into the mirror together after, and I expected her to say something about how it looks crappy or good or whatever. But that's when she said, you're so beautiful, and she was looking at me. Right in that moment, I wanted to say something, but I waited, and the moment was gone. So I think Lonnie likes us. And I think we're, we're a lesbian, which is pretty cool. So, um, then there was the guest room, which was here. Now, there was one interesting note in here, which was basically, if you lay down, Herbert, I'll tell you a story. Um, it's basically a ghost journal they did, and they basically do this thing where they look out for ghosts. So, August 31, 1994. A tall shadow in the upstairs hall. When I rounded the corner, no one was there. How tall was Uncle Oscar? Note, I was not wearing my glasses. September 3rd, 1994. A faint voice coming from the bottom of the stairs. I said hello, did not investigate. Probably was the furnace. September 9th, 1994. Poured milk from Canton in fridge. It was spoiled. Pretty sure I read that spirits can sour milk. Milk was just brought yesterday. And there's the ghost and some ghost milk. October 9th, 1994. Lonnie says she feels a presence in the TV room. I suddenly begin to feel cold. We build a protective pillow fort. And that's basically what was downstairs. What I don't get, though, is assuming, like, it says October 28th there, and I guess it's been about a week after, because we were on holiday or something, which I found out somehow was actually in London. I think there was a postcard. I either showed that on the last episode or last episode. But yeah, um, for some reason, the pillow fort's still there. No one bothered cleaning it up. October 22nd, 1994. Lonnie and I employ a Ouija board as a medium. Smart move. Disturbing messages are conveyed from the other side. Oscar is definitely here. And then there's October 28th, 1994. Enlisted Lonnie to stay up all night and help patrol premises. Recording any signs of otherworldly presence. 
Lonnie reported many sightings, but all remained unconfirmed. Possible exoplasm in the attic, probably due to leaky roof. Some were taken just in case. Despite our best efforts, we both fell asleep around 4 a.m. All in all, a successful night. I found that interesting. Oh, wait, I didn't see this. So in here... I genuinely haven't seen in here yet. We've got a painting of some flowers. That's good. So someone here was an artist. Uh, performance evaluation. Richard Patamac, Supervisor Janice Greenbrier. Ranger Patamac has been indispensable during the course of the prescribed burn preparation and execution. I believe his expertise and dedication has been the deciding factor in the success of a very complex and challenging conservation effort. In the opinion of the Flintlock Forest staff, Rick's contributions to daily operations have become essential to the outfit continuing success. To this end, I will be formally submitting paperwork requesting his permanent reassignment to this facility. I found in the... Um, if I just leave you there for a bit, Herbert. In the mum and dad's room, under the bed, there's this bookmark. And this bookmark says on the back of it, um, Take your time. I'm glad to have it in good hands. Now, I don't know if this is just a, a nice gift or there's something else going on. I think there might be an affair. Also, did you see this? Watercolour techniques. I guess that's a mum thing. But overall, I haven't seen anything really happen in the plot yet. Like, I haven't been haunted. I haven't been jump scared. And I was kind of going to bring Herbert up here to help me overcome this dark room. Do not enter if red lights are on. And they are on. So I'm going to I'm gonna go in there. Ah. Right. Why, why is that a thing? Oh, God. Okay. So I've got to find a key. Herbert, help me. I literally... I don't even know where to look. Oh, come on. I searched the house, like, up and down. Or maybe not up and down, but, you know. So keys. Keys. I don't actually know where I would find any keys. I'm surprised there's nothing in here, but it just seems to be Katie's stuff. Alright, well, we have an objective. What's this accept? Heavens Betsy, nothing can stop me. Go. Don't be music. Sounds like music, I'm not risking it. So I'm generally not sure. Halloween show. The Misfits. Don't forget your costume. See you there. Sometimes oh, you just okay. Have adrenaline to tree. To mom and dad. Like when Lonnie asked me to uh -huh. see a band with her and stay over at her friend's place in the city after. That's a lie to mom and dad situation. But it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome. And everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. Between two songs, Lonnie leaned over and said, How do you like your first show? I was so happy. I felt tears starting in my eyes. And then she up and hugged me. I think she could tell. Lie to mom and dad situation. Are they like, not okay with your being a lesbian? Ah, another cassette. Oh, this is the holder thing, isn't it? They're always empty. No one puts any crap away in this house. Folder. Oh. Lonnie! Holy crap, I was in the library and I noticed something in the corner and found a secret passage. And had Oscar's creepy old stuff in it? My god, I've got to see this. We're skipping sixth. Ah. Okay, that might be handy. So there's a secret room in mum and dad's room. Okay. Oh, and it's marked on the map. Good. Well, I'm sure that's the place I need to go. Alright, mum and dad's room. Mum and dad's room. Ah, here we are. So, so what about that? Is it in this bit? Oh, oh crap. Okay. Yes. This is where we keep John Lennon. He's still alive. Ghost Hunters. Sam and Lonnie Secret. House Investigation Log. Hidden Compartments Found 3. Alright, something interesting is happening. I'm kind of scared. Library, Upstairs Hall, and Foyer. Alright, they're marked on the map, so I can look at them anyway, but what's what's down here? Can I get more light, please? No? Rude. I don't think there's anything really down here anyway, but 
All right. Wait, what's that? What? I'm going to ignore the fact that the crucifix did that. All right. Well, I've got the locations on my um, thing anyway. So. Oh, oh, the Ouija board. Don't think I want to touch that. To open first number. Oh, the files. Yeah, I remember the files. Hello, hello, who are you? Oscar. What do you want? To come ba. What could he possibly mean by come ba? Yeah, if I can help it, I don't, I don't want to touch that. It'd be really good if I didn't have to touch that. What am I doing with these? Are they just going to lie here? It's been like an hour. Where are those other secret entrances? So one's to the left over here. Do I have to touch the family portrait? By any chance? No? Oh, okay. Here? Oh, okay. Oh, private documents. Yes. And the other half of the combination. Private, do not read. The Green Glacier Part 2. Uh, oh, it's the Allegra thing again. Alright, look, to be fair, I I like this game. I like how they have their lore in it. Lore is very important in the game. But I'm not reading this because this is really... I don't know, I just can't really get along with it. I mean, I'm guessing Allegra and the first mate are together. And then there's this bottom bit saying... Um, Allegra glared into the Queen's eyes and said, That's the love of my life and you can't have her. And this is just, I don't know... The main character's way of expressing her love to th this girl... It's not I'm not interested. I kind of am. But I just... I struggle reading stuff. I mean, I'm into reading my classics, but I can't read a classic anymore with, with, with just, like, eyes. I have to actually listen to it. It's just a thing. I just get too impatient reading. Alright, the third lock should be somewhere around here. Ah! Oh, the library! My favourite room! Yes! Shall we read... Shall we read... What was it? Emperor? Uh, Daughter of the Emperor? Uh, ah. Huh. Misfits? The Misfits, Saturday, October 29th. At Todd's brother's place after the show, there was only a futon to sleep on, so Lonnie and I shared it. The lights went out. I was turned toward her, my eyes started to adjust, and then I could see she was looking at me, too. In the dark, she smiled. My heart was beating so fast. I rolled over. I felt so, I don't know, nervous? After a minute, she put her arm around me and was so close and whispered in my ear, I really like you. I just nodded my head and I really hoped she could tell. I really hoped that she meant what I think she did. I felt like a shook up can of soda ever since. I hope we have the chance to talk before I explode. Oh, no, don't say that. Oh, okay, well, now I know. They said, oh, I hope I get the chance to speak to you before I die or tragically disappear. Or, you know, I bet you anything what's happened is, hey, guess what? I'm going on holiday. And then that ruined everything. Something happened. Something happened. I know something happened. I bet you anything something happened. All right. Well, I've looked at the three bits. I'm not sure how reliable my audio equipment is at the moment. Um, so I think I'm just going to end the episode here. So we have seen these three secret entrances. Um, we have the combination to the uh, filing cabinet, which hopefully should have what we need. Maybe the key to the attic, which I'm looking forward to seeing. But what is in the attic? We shall see that in another episode. Look out for my books, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until next time, see ya.